Baba, I open this thing now. Welcome to Jenje Media Channel. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and remember to click on the bell icon. Today, the 19th of July 2019, at the MMM1A, that is Motala Mohammed International Airport, the MMM1A, a man that people have been saying is a madman has been seen to climb an aeroplane in Nigeria. Again, once more, this is Njenje Media Channel. This is a developing story. This story can only happen in Nigeria. People boarded an aircraft this morning in Nigeria. Asman Airline. A-Z-M-A-N Airline. Never heard of that airline before, but it exists in Nigeria. Now, this aircraft already people have boarded. Suddenly, on when the aircraft is taxiing in order to take off, suddenly... People sitting in the window side saw a man running after the aircraft. Pause for a moment. Think about it. You are in an aircraft trying to fly away. And suddenly you look out of the window, see someone running towards your aircraft with a rucksack. What would you be thinking? Wouldn't you start praying to God and say, oh, dear God, here comes my end. But the people kept calm. Some got out their cameras. Uh, a member of our crew videoed this and sent to us. Now, as this was going on, the commotion, the pilot stopped the plane. And as the pilot stopped the plane, no one did anything. Okay, everyone kept quiet. This guy climbed gingerly in the... Uh, in the engine towards the engine of the aircraft and dropped the rucksack at this moment in time if you're among those in those in that airplane what will you be thinking your thoughts will be saying this plane would explode at any time i pity these people in all this there was no security personnel there was no person that came out even when the pilot have radioed for 23 minutes people if that was an attack for 23 minutes that plane would have gone in flames but trust nigeria for what they are 23 minutes nothing happened and people sat in there now eventually according to um the person who was reporting on this eventually the security men showed up and that was after 37 minutes after 37 minutes of the incident, they showed up. And I quote what he said. How it happened. So our flight was taxiing on the runway and about taking off when this man showed up running towards the moving aircraft from the bush. Again, the man came from the bush in Lagos. This is not in Boronu or in Sokoto or in, in Medugri. This is in Lagos. Somebody comes out of the bush running towards a moving aircraft. There was no sniper to take him down or to neutralize the threat there was nobody to you know to intervene there was no cctv to capture the man running towards an aircraft and he continues the pilot and a few passengers spotted him running towards the aircraft and the pilot immediately slowed down and quickly put off the engine the guy approached the plane with a glo with gloves and starts walking around and under the aircraft holding a bag which he dropped inside the engine you can see that from the video thanks to the pilot of Asman airline for quickly observing and taking swift action i will have a million and one question to ask because anything could have gone wrong nigeria will work perfectly someday this i know this is what the guy is saying <laughs> nigeria will work perfectly he said the question is, why is Nigeria not working? Aren't we already in the next level? This guy, this thing incident will go unnoticed because no one, probably the mainstream media wouldn't even report it. But thanks to Njenje Media, we dig and we extract the truth behind the headline. 
So watch the video. Right this guy is with the bag. Do you know what is inside that bag? Oh, I know we call drop. Go here, man. Don't know what is inside that bag. Don't drop something. Here's your bag. And he looks like a mad person. It's not. It's not be mad. Just be pretending madness. Let us check where he carry bag. He pretends to. He carry bag. Let them watch where he carry bag. Security is one. Oh, I'm this guy is with the bag. Do you know what is inside that bag? Oh, I know we call drop. Go here, man. Don't know what is inside that bag. Here's your bag. And he looks like a mad person. He's not. He's not be mad. Just be pretending madness. Let us check where he carry bag. He pretends to. Now on social media, so many Nigerians are reacting. Someone said, "You all will be fine. Help is coming. Take a deep, slow breath. In an, you know, inhale slowly." Anxiety will quickly use up the oxygen. You will quickly be okay. The other one said, wow, wow, wow. Another one said, oh my God. Another one said, this is very disturbing. I hope he has been apprehended. Stay safe, guys. Listen, there are fundamental flaws here that we at Njenje Media can tell you free of charge. One, whenever something moving in a runway except aircraft is spotted you should not take more than two maximum five minutes for the security and airport authorities to take beat an object beat human being anything movable must not take more than two to three minutes maximum five minutes to be neutralized or to be taken off now this guy for 37 minutes was in the runway walking around the airport even climbing on the air aircraft wings climbing on the wings you can see that from this pic from the videos how does that happen doesn't that tell you that nowhere is safe in nigeria nowhere is safe this guy climbed the wings of the aircraft the wings of the aircraft he climbed into the engine and dropped a bag jesus christ so you use the road you're in trouble Many Yorubas can no longer use Ore, Bini, not even, uh, uh, you know, Ibadan Expressway. Now they want to fly. They can no longer fly in peace. Someone would eventually climb their, their aircraft. Luckily, and I say thank God for keeping the people alive. Luckily, this guy probably was not a security threat. Imagine if he was. And he dropped that bag in the engine. Kaboom! And something happens. The aircraft would have been in flames. That's how you would probably have seen people, everyone in world news, everywhere, people would have heard, oh, an aircraft um, got whatever in Nigeria. We need to wake up. We need to wake up. People, we must call for these guys to be, you know, to be publicly arraigned and information given to the public in order to restore sanity and to restore confidence. It has been four months since Buhari took over. No ministers, no minister of aviation. So who is going to take charge? No one will lose his, his or her job in this madness. This is the new Nigeria where things go upside down. Nobody is going to be held up accountable. When you speak now, some people will tell you that you hate the government. That's why you are speaking. Are those dying not human beings? Do they not have blood in their veins? If these guys, honestly, looking at this, we can show you a lot of lapses. There was no evacuation because apparently maybe the pilots and the crews were so confused that they didn't know what to do. Probably they weren't even trained or if they were trained, they were so confused. Are they going to start the emergency to exit? But if I were the pilot, the moment I saw that uh, bag being dropped in the engine of that aircraft, my mind would have told me this guy has got a bomb and I need to evacuate that plane. But thank God nothing happened. This is Nigeria for you. Brace yourself up for the next level. Next level of madness.
is happening live before your eyes. This is Njenje Media Channel. Subscribe to the channel. We would endeavor to get you the stories as they develop. Trust this channel. You hear from this channel analysis and news updates that you will never get from the mainstream media. Check the mainstream media. None of them will analyze. None of them would have updated you this news the way we've done. All that you see the mainstream media do is probably giving it, if at all, a couple of seconds news flash. But here at Indian Media, we will spend man hours digging to get the real news and to get the truth behind the headlines. Indian Media, once more, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon for notifications. <music>